We're back. I've been spending a lot of time working on a song cover today. That's pretty good news. Another song cover, potentially. Then again, I need more voices than just mine this time because it's one of those song covers where it's kind of collaborative. You need more people. Oh, yeah. And I promise you, the quality will surpass the quality of the three other song covers I have. By far. Okay? But anyway, what's going on guys? This is Buku Tagir, and today we're going to be playing some more Doki Doki Blue Skies. We're on to episode 19 of the playthrough. This is genuinely the longest playthrough of any Doki Doki mod I've had. Not even mod! This, this, this is just anything in Doki Doki verse. Why? Anyway, I wake up the next morning to the sound of activity coming from downstairs. I almost forgot that mom is an early riser. That's something I definitely didn't inherit from her. I yawn and stretch, check in the time. Ah, oh, 10 a.m. Looks like it isn't so early after all. Morning, mom. You're up early. <laughs> Very funny. I've been up for before noon loads of times, actually. Looks like you really have changed while I've been gone, eh? Rolling my eyes at her a little... At her little jab, I noticed an abundance of food on the kitchen table. So, it's Valentine's Day today. It's Valentine's Day. Blah, 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 blah. What have you, what have you got planned with Sayori? Taking a seat, I opt for the jam toast. I don't know. Monica mentioned that it's fancy restaurant town, so I thought I'd take Sayori there. Which one? Uh, Amber Beehive, I think it's called. Amber Beehive? Amber Beehive? Hmm. She said it's jazzy. Leans on the formal side, too. Oh yes, I know that. I know it now. Monica has good taste. Sorry, we love it. Good, good. Uh, we could do with a nice day after everything that's happened so far. Oh, everything okay? Uh, we can talk about it when I get back, if that's okay. Kind of want to focus on the positives today. Of course. Today will be a great day. Don't you worry. She smiles encouragingly at me. I hope so. Anyway, what are you going to do today? Well, it's been such a long time since I've had been home that I've almost forgotten what free time feels like. This country and its work ethic. Anyway, I figured that I would start with I doing this voice is just I I, <laughs> I can't take it seriously. Anyway, I figured I could start with some housekeeping. You've let this place get a little dusty and messy, young man. Sorry, it's never been my strong suit. There's also some business things I have to sort out, but thankfully I can do those on my laptop. Even when you're at home, you can't really catch a break, can you? She smiles ruefully. Adult life, Puka. Now, haven't you got a certain someone to see? I'm on it. <laughs> After freshening up and shooting Sayori a text, I make my way over to her house. Hey, Sayori. She's on the bed, sitting up. There's a pen and... Oh my gosh, I didn't say anything about that stupid apple servant thing. She's on the bed, sitting up. There's a pen and paper in her hands and it looks like she's writing a poem. Hi, hey, Puka. What do you want to do today, then? Uh, about that. Um. I, I can only, I can only take a guess as to what's coming. Perhaps disappointment? Who knows, really? I mean, it could not be anything too bad, right? Right, Sayori? You're not gonna say you're not, you're not available today, are you? <laughs> this must be really disappointing to hear, so I'm sorry. What is it? I'm not really in the mood to hang out today. There's just some things that I need to think about, and I don't want to be distracted. It's nothing personal. I try my best to fight off the sinking feeling of disappointment. Nah, uh, that's cool. Don't worry about it, okay? Just give me a shout if you want to talk, alright? You know where I am. I know it's Valentine's Day today, so it's really selfish of me, but it's fine, really. Not selfish at all. I'd, rather, I'd much rather you did what you wanted to do instead of you feeling like you have to come out or anything. We can always hang out another day. Thank you, Puka. You've always been really understanding. It's the least I can do. Anyway, I'll leave you to it. Well then, that uh, changes uh, things a bit. I'm a little downhearted. I know Sayori loves romance, and today would have been the perfect day to show her how much she means to me. Granted, the decision has been made. At least I can't talk it over with. At least I can talk it over with Mom. Mom's sitting at the kitchen table, beavering her way on lap on her laptop. She looks surprised. You're back. You're back early. I slide into the chair opposite her. Yeah, Sari doesn't really feel like hanging out today. Said there's some stuff she needs to think about, so I left her to it. I bury my face into my hands. When mom speaks, her tone is gentle. It's not easy, is it? It really isn't. I know you warned me about it, and I thought I was prepared, but... 
I never really know what to do. I, I like to think that I'm making a positive difference, but I don't know anymore. What makes you doubt that? <sighs> well, she kind of snapped at me once I told her. I, I know I knew how she felt. Said that I couldn't possibly know what depression feels like and that my words are just empty, but she also says that it's helpful having me around and that just being able to listen doesn't make a difference. So I don't really know. For, for what it's worth, darling, you're the, you're doing your best and that's all that we can ask for. Take, take today, for example. You wanted to spend the day with her, right? Take her to a nice restaurant. You were looking forward to it. Mm. But even though she wasn't up for it, you didn't get angry at her or hold it against her. You were understanding and let her do what she wanted to do. That's precisely the kind of patience and understanding I was talking about back in November. She said it herself. She values having you around, and whether you realize it or not, you have made life that much better for her. Nah, uh, I've made it worse in some ways. How so? Oh, I, uh, I forgot to tell you. You know Yuri, right? We went Christmas shopping with each other in December, and I saw her in the park once after Sayer and I had to falling out. We've grown a little closer and Yuri confided that she's really lonely. I agreed to spend more time with her and totally didn't factor in how Sayori would feel. Ah, oh, jealousy, I assume. Yeah, I'm an idiot. How did I not realize that would happen? I was so inconsiderate. Not inconsiderate at all, sweetie. Your heart's always been in the right place. You just wanted to help a friend in need and there's nothing wrong with that. But now I'm in this really weird situation. I want to spend time with Yuri because I hate the thought of her being lonely, but I don't want to make Sayori feel any worse. Sayori didn't tell me that I couldn't hang out with Yuri or anything. She's not like that at all. And I can't tell Yuri about why I can't hang out with her because I don't want her to find out about Sayori's depression. Girls. Alma laughs softly. She puts a reassuring hand on my shoulder. Well, let's try looking at this from another angle. She agreed that to try therapy, right? How's that going? When I was there, it was going well, I guess. Her therapist is really nice, never insensitive when with his questioning, and she wor she's working well with him. She's on antidepressants now, and she started going to therapy sessions alone. That's excellent news, sweetie. That's a really big step to make, so the fact that she's made it is really promising. In my own experience, that independence is really important. You can't always be there for your partner, and at the end of the, at the, end of the day, they're the one who has to learn to deal with their depression. When I was dealing dating Shinji, and we found that depression was easier to manage after he had attended a few sessions by himself. You said that she was all right, ha she has a really good therapist, so have faith, darling. It's a, it's a long, slow process, but it sounds like she's made good progress already. Sheesh, Mom, you sound like a psychologist yourself. <laughs> well, I did take some psychology modules while I was at the university. You know, my experience with depression really opened my eyes to mental health. Funny you mention that, because I was considering going into psychology at university. Sakurai was asking me about my future plans. Well, if it's what you're interested in and your grades are good enough, I'd encourage you to, Puka. Especially in a country like this one, with which has some pretty unhelpful attitudes when it comes to mental health. Yeah, it seems like a good choice, right? I've still got time, but I figured it'd be helpful to start thinking about my post-school plans now. She nods approvingly. Yes, that's definitely a smart thing to do. What, other, what about other... What about the other girls? After I fill her in, she fits back, looking thoughtful. I can really see where I got my reflective side from. Love, you'll all have to study really hard next year. That exam that you take at the end of the high school is so important in determining which university you get into. Yeah, so I've heard. Sakurai mentioned it too. But you're not, you're, you're, you're not a bright boy. You're a smart boy who's bright. So I know you can do it. Of course, with me raising you, you could hardly go wrong, could you? We share a chuckle. Mom has always been really good at making me feel safe and secure. Thanks, Mom, for everything. I don't know where I'd be without you. Nothing to thank me for. I'm your mother. It's my job. Ser Seriously, having you around has, again has made me has has made such a difference. I just wish you could be around more often. Me too, Puka. Me too. I always feel guilty being so far away from home, especially when you were struggling to deal with Sayori. It's not your fault. Life wasn't exactly going to be easy after the divorce, was it? You're doing your best. <laughs> Isn't that exactly what I said to you just now? I see you inherited my positivity. Sayori called me a mama's boy, funnily enough. Well, she isn't wrong, now is she? I grin. Nope. Anyway, I was thinking we could go for a walk to town. There's a really nice cafe that one of my friend work friends recommended. It'll be good to get out of the house. The fresh air will do you good, too. 
Can we swing by that restaurant Monica recommended? I just want to see what it's like, you know, just in case I want to take Saria there another day. Of course we can. White, White Day is only a month away, so who knows? Perhaps you'll spend the day there. I'd forgotten about White Day. I, you know, you know what's odd about that? Obviously, most, most of my viewers are from the US. We don't do White Day that I know of, all right? We only do Valentine's Day. White Day, obviously, if you don't know what it is, is basically Valentine's Day, but you know, for the opposite gender, okay? Valentine's Day, I believe, is more along the lines of guys doing stuff for the girls. But White Day is the exact opposite. Girls do stuff for the guys, or you know, you know, whatever your, your roles are in your relationship. It's just, it's just basically the other half of the significant other. The, the relationship does something for them in return a month later. You know, it'll it'll be on March fourteenth. That Pi Day. Yeah. You typically get a lot of chocolate, so it's one of my favorite days. Ah, so there you were, breathing, ber berating me for for gorging on chocolate when it's you that I got my sweet tooth from. I hope you've been eating healthily while I've been away, young man. Hey, have you ever heard that phrase? Uh, what you don't know won't hurt you. Uh, I'll take that as a no then. Ignorance is bliss, mom. You should consider yourself lucky that Sayori doesn't expect you to cook her food, Puka. Funny you mention that, actually. Natsuki is really into food, so if I... No, that's a... That is, so if I dated her instead, man, she'd grill me. No pun intended. She laughed softly, shaking her head. Yeah, I shook my head too. So we just didn't get it go... Okay, have fun that day. Alright, that, that I guess that works. After waking up and completing my morning routine, I perch into the couch, idly flicking through the programs on the television. I think Sayori has a therapy session today, though I'm unsure of the time. Probably best to find out what's going on. Hey Sayori, what's up? You got a session with Dr. Satoshi today, right? Hey, hey, yeah, I do. It's in an hour. Uh, alright. Uh, want me to come with you? Actually, well, I was kind of thinking that I should probably try going to one by myself. Oh, really? You sure? Yeah, I'm pretty nervous, but when you come with me, bef when you came with me before, it gave me the confidence to try and tackle these sessions by myself. The antidepressants have made it easier for me to think a bit clearer, too. And I don't want to always rely on you when it comes to these se sessions, so yeah, I'll see how this one goes. Oh, uh, well, I'm glad you're feeling better. Just let me know if you change your mind, okay? I'm not doing anything today, so it wouldn't be a problem if I had to come to the clinic. Thanks, Buka. I'll remember that. I'll let you know how it goes. See ya. Alrighty. Mom's well, sitting nearby, typing away on her laptop. It's kind of weird. What is? Not spending the day with Sayori. This is the first weekend since we started dating that we haven't spent time with each other. Hang on. Why exactly are you, aren't you guys spending today with each other? I thought you two would be glued together. Oh, she has a therapy session today. Remember how I told you yesterday that she was considering going to the sessions alone? She texted me to tell me that she's going to do that. Just do just that. Oh, that's excellent news. It sounds like she's doing really well. Mm-hmm. The fact that she's going alone is good for your relationship, too. It's healthy to do things away from your partner. Is it? God, that really shows how much I know. Yep, it's important to remember that even though you're together, you still have your own lives to live. I know it probably feels like you want to spend every moment with her, but it's good to have little breaks. Yeah, but I'm bored. I don't know what to do. The joys of free time. <laughs> don't you have any homework to be getting on with? No, I did it on Friday. Wait, you doing homework on a Friday evening? That really doesn't sound like you at all. I remember how you always used to leave it for Sunday evening. Am I really talking to my son? And there I was thinking, you'd commend me for doing it so early. What a cruel world I have to live in. <laughs> What about your video games? If I recall cor correctly, you're the reason why you leave your homework for the last minute. That's a good idea, actually. Problem is, I don't know what to play. Mom rolls her eyes. Don't you have a whole library of games? Hmm, depends on if you count DLC. DLC? Basically, it's short for downloadable content, which am I really going to try and explain the nuances of video gaming to my mom? Never mind. Yeah, uh, I'll go see what I can find. Yep, that's the smartest move. Just avoid the, avoid that. Avoid the description, the details. You don't need it. It's not useful. It won't be remembered, I promise. After spending a good five minutes trying to decide which game to play, I eventually settled for Banjo-Kazooie. I had a lot of fun just watching Sayori play it, so I figured it'd be a good choice. Man, Sayori got pretty far. I forgot how much she enjoys the game. Maybe I could lend it to her, given I don't really play it by myself. I have plenty of other titles on my computer to choose from, so it's not like I'd be strapped I'd be strapped for a choice. <sighs> Might be worth bringing it up next time I see her. After some time, Mom comes downstairs, calling my name. You've got a text, Puka. From Sayori? No, from Yuri. 
You left your phone in the bathroom. Oh, so that's where it was. Oops. I'll take the phone. Hello, Puka. Are you up to much today? No, nah, not really. Just having a chill day, to be honest. I imagine that must be quite relaxing. I was curious. There's a pause. I can tell she's working up the courage to ask me to do something with her. Well, I found another good book that I think you might enjoy, and I was wondering if you'd like to read it with me. I have a spare copy. I don't really know how to reply. I just I just told her that I was free, so I can't fall back on the classic homework excuse. Uh, I can't. Sorry. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, <laughs> that's even worse. When they say why, man, you don't want to lie. You really just don't want to. You want to avoid it. Why? Oh, I forgot to tell you. Mom came home Friday, and she wants to spend time with me. Ah, I feel absolutely awful as I type that out. Or you must suspect that something's amiss. I went from encouraging her to open up to me and spend time with me to suddenly rejecting her advances. My only hope is that she doesn't think it's because I don't like her or anything like that. Ah, uh, okay, well, I'm sorry to bother you then. I hope you have a nice catch up. Thanks, Yuri. Really sorry again. Just, you just seem to catch me at a bad time. Uh, <laughs> She doesn't reply. I slide my phone back into my pocket and run my face through my hands. Everything, everything okay? That's a good question. I stand up, pulling on my coat. I'm gonna go for a walk. I need to clear my head. I can't wait for you to go on this walk and, you know, you're gonna find Yuri or maybe Sayori, possibly Natsuki. I'd be surprised if you found Monica though. I need to clear my head. Mom, Mom looks surprised, but doesn't press it. Up, up, warm. Ah, oh, I know this place. After settling down on the bench, I cast my eyes onto the pond. The gentle cyan hue of the pond possesses the pond possesses is pleasant to look at, but although it's soothing for the eyes, it does little for my racing mind. Maybe it's worth talking to Sayori about how to deal with Yuri? Causing tension with Sayori is the last thing I want. Though especially as though as uh, though. Especially as it looks like she's making progress with therapy. And again, I don't exactly want to lose Yuri as a friend, do I? I would be really, it would be really awkward and unfortunate if any resentment was bred between the two girls. Hmm. As my miss musings carry on, I hear a voice call my name. Puka? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ah. Uh, oh, no. Oh, no. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. My head jerks up. I immediately recognize the owner of that voice. If this is who I hope it isn't, a uh, following conversation is going to be awkward. Ah, look at that. It's almost like I knew this was coming. I called it. Look at that. And you know why I didn't see it before? Because the entire time that skip button has been gray, meaning I can't s skip. I didn't read that line either. Uh, my fears are confirmed as a familiar set of flowing purple locks makes their way into my view. Uh, hey, Yuri. <laughs> she looks around. Are you by yourself? Yeah. Oh, man, man, this is terrible. Why? As soon as I speak, I realize the error I've just made. A hint of sadness and doubt flashes on Yuri's face. You're a fool. I would at least know how to get out of this situation. I'm a smarter, I could think pretty well on my feet, so I know how to get out of here. You, however, you failed, you lost. I thought you were with your mother. Well, I'm screwed. Uh. And that is why you just don't lie. You just tell the truth. And the worst that can happen is they don't accept the, 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 you know, the truth and you move on from there. Okay? Just tell the truth. That's advice. From Puka. Ah -ha -ha. Puka, why are you avoiding me? If you don't want to spend time with me, that's all you had to say. It wouldn't surprise me at all. No, Yuri, please. It's not like that. I do like you and I do enjoy our time together. It's just... I run an aggravated hand through my hair. It's so frustrating not being able to tell her the truth. Especially when she sees this so differently. Just what, Puka? You can tell me if you'd rather... I left you alone. While I'm trying to figure out what to say, Yuri presses forward. Is it me? No, it's what... Mm. You told me that I could come to you if I were feeling lonely. Were you just saying what I wanted to hear? No, I meant that. I still do. It's just... It's complicated, Yuri, and I can't really tell you. That sounded absolutely pathetic. Yuri doesn't look impressed or, or convinced. I'm sorry for bothering you, Puka. I truly am. It's probably for the best that I leave you to it then. As frustration floods through my body, she turns around to leave. Just what the hell am I even meant to do anymore? Ah! It's all going downhill. Hi, Puka. Can we- Oh, man. Don't worry. You haven't done anything wrong. Ah, oh, that, that's not reassuring. You hear those messages. It usually means- It can typically mean the exact opposite. Oh man, uh, the can we talk conversation, oh no. 
Are you sure about that, here, Sayori? Just finished it. Just finished therapy. Se just finished therapy session and needed some time to think about it. Want us to get your thoughts as well, if that's okay? Sure thing. Can we meet at yours? Sounds good. Just give me 15 minutes to get home. Okay, see you then. I'm praying that she has some positive news. I'm not sure I could stand any more strife today. <laughs> There's a note on the table from mom. She's gone out to get some groceries. Well, at least this affords Sayori and I some privacy. I hear a knock on the door. I let Sayori in and we both take a seat. Hey Sayori, how'd your session go today? It was pretty helpful. The sessions on the whole... Hmm. The sessions on the whole have been much more helpful than I thought they could be. Oh? Yeah, recently Dr. Satoshi has been helping me put things into perspective. I'm starting to realize that, well, maybe things aren't as bad as they seem. He helped me see the progress I've made so far, like coming to therapy. That's part of it. Coming to the sessions in the first place was a really big step, something that I wouldn't have been able to do last year. For the past few sessions, he's been challenging the depressive thinking I had and helping me see the reality of things. It, that It's okay f to ask for help, and thanks to the antidepressants, I'm able to see things a little more clearly. It's not exactly easy, and sometimes I get frustrated at how slow the progress is, but he reminded me that we are making progress, slow but steady, he said. And he said, and he praised me for having the courage to come to the sessions alone. Yeah, I'm really proud for you for that. You are something, I said something. You are doing really well. She smiles tentatively. And it's something I'm slowly coming to terms with. Obviously, we're not rainbows and butterflies just yet, but I'm not having nightmares as often, and my general mood these days is much better than it was before we started hanging out again. The powerful feeling of relief cursing, coursing through my body feels rewarding beyond belief. Just when I was thinking everything was so bleak and we weren't getting anywhere. Anyway, so he suggested that I tell the others about my depression. Oh? That'll- that'll solve everything! That'll solve it all! Please! No more Yuri situation! Please! It'll help so much! Oh, so that's the thing you wanted to, my input on. Yeah, but I don't know if I should tell them. Why not? Well, I'm kind of worried that it might change how the club feels. I don't want any special treatment or anything, and... There's no telling how they might react. On the other hand, having to act all cheery all the time around them is so exhausting. And if you tell them, you won't have to hide anything anymore. And that would make life a lot easier, being able to come to school and not worry about accidentally letting the mask slip. Hmm, yeah, I can see there, that there's a lot to think about and consider. For what it's worth, though, I don't think it'll change the atmosphere of the club. To be honest, to be honest. They're a friend, Sayori. And yeah, they might be a bit unsure of how to react, but I didn't know how to react when you told me, but we're still best friends, right? Yeah, that's true. I didn't think of that. Hmm. I think it'd be a good idea too, but I'm not going to talk you into anything. Oh, I think it'd be a good idea too, but I'm not going to talk you into anything. It's surely your decision. It's entirely your decision to make, and I'll respect whatever you pick. Okay, thanks, Puka. I think I'll talk, think about it tonight and see how I feel tomorrow. Sounds good. She notices the game console lying on the floor and the controller by the sofa. Hey, hang on. Were you playing without me? Eh, guilty as charged. Uh, sorry, <laughs> I was bored. She heads toward the television and powers up the console. I hope you haven't gotten too far. That was my safe file, Mini. Play it and find out. <laughs> the door opens and Mom trails in, carrying in a bunch of bags. My goodness, Sayori. It's been so long. I know we spoke on the phone, but actually seeing you in person is a whole other story. It's really nice to see you, too. They share a hug. Some people might find that weird, but to me, it's perfectly normal. Mom always loved having Sayori over when we were kids. She was almost like a daughter to her. Puka, Puka, Puka told me about the club that you invited him to. He says your poems are amazing, so you have to show me sometime. <laughs> well, they're not that good. I bet they're wonderful, Sayori. Anyway, I'll be fixing lunch for us, so please give a shout if you need anything. Oh, it's okay. You don't need to make me food. Don't be silly, dear. It's my treat. Don't you worry. You? Objecting free food? What have you done to the Sayori I know? Sayori opens her mouth to protest, but upon realizing that she can't win this war on two fronts, she closes it, it She closes it and pouts. Very funny. Well, that's nice. I mean, yeah. I'm hoping this just takes a good turn. I'm hoping. One could only hope. But I'm hoping to say that you guys are going to hit the like button and hit the subscribe button so I can make it to 100 subs. Make this my most liked video ever. I don't know how many likes that would take, but do it. I hope you guys enjoyed, though. I'm out. This is Puka Tuka, and we're signing off. Peace. I did that really awkwardly, and I don't know why, but yeah, peace, I guess. Peace again. Three times in a row.